it's me, Eva. Um, so I said a while ago, but I don't know if I said it anywhere else except on Twitter, that I was collecting crap to do an empties video with. Uh, an empties video being obviously cat. Um, stuff that you finished products and then you ostensibly can speak with some level of authority on them um, once you've finished them. And I was like, well, I don't know a lot of stuff, but I know how to accumulate trash, and that seems to be like the main thrust of an empties video. So I figured I'd give it a shot, but I was briefly reviewing my garbage pile, which is what Charles was calling it. I just had to tell him like, okay, this looks like a bag of trash, but actually it's a very important project, so please don't throw it away. Will you stop? Biz wants to be in the video, but he doesn't know anything about products. Anyway, so I was going through my trash, and there's really not much in there that's of use to people. So this, I think, really is only just going to illustrate, like, what a dumpster I am. So I hope you're not looking to this for, like, real guidance, although I don't know why you would be. Um, but if you want to see some shit I've used, here we go. Um, so I just got my nails done. Cool. Sorry, I keep looking at them. So, 90% of what is in my bag, my trash bag, is da -da -da -da, dry shampoo. Because I'm gross and I don't really wash my hair. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to take that back. That's not gross because you don't need to wash your hair that much. That's my firm belief. And I've essentially trained mine to not need it very much. And it's damaged enough anyway that I'm not trying to, like, with it all the time. Just let it go back to nature for a while. It'll figure itself out. So I use a lot of dry shampoo, um, mostly in my bangs. Because what I used to do when I was blonde is I used to wash just my bangs, like, in the sink. And that worked totally fine. Because, you know, obviously those are getting sweatier than the rest of all of this. But... Then when I dyed my hair, especially when it was like purple purple and not just like whatever mystery color this has faded to in the year since I dyed it, oops, um, I didn't want my bangs to fade faster than the rest of my hair and I thought it might if I kept just washing them straight in the sink. So I stopped doing that and I really started using the dry shampoo for my bangs more than anything. So I've tried a shit ton of dry shampoos. Um, I don't have the bot. I don't have the one that I really hated, uh, which was the dry bar one. I bought a little tri sample trial size at like the impulse part of Sephora, and I used it. And I was like, "This smells like onions." Like lots of dry shampoos don't smell great, but they also don't smell like fucking onions in your hair, and. It's a lingerer of a stink, too. Like, you spray that on. I used it once in, like, a pinch. And I was at work all day, and, like, every time I moved, my hair moved with me, I was just, like, waft of dinner. And it's like, you know, onions smell fine when I'm eating them, but I don't want them, like, in my hair. So, I don't have that one, but don't buy the dry bar one unless you like weird smells. And, um, Rave Sashay backed me up on that, so you know I'm right. Um... I like the Batiste one, it's pretty good. The one I have here is the, I'm trying to read it backwards, Floral and Fruity Blush. Yeah. Um, and I think this one comes out not quite as white as some of the other ones. Like it might have a tint to it, which I liked. Um, this was a good one. It's not, I think, as heavy duty as some of the other ones I've used, but it does in a pinch and I used a full can of it, so. Oh, I guess I also had the Clean and Classic original that I also finished. It says it's voted the number one favorite dry shampoo, so I thought it was serviceable. I used them both. Um, I used them more in, like, my head hair, this stuff, rather than my bangs, um, just because I felt like it wasn't quite intense enough to deal with, like, the sewage in my bangs from my sweaty ass forehead after a day living in the world. Um, so, but like I said, it's fine. I like it. Yeah. 
But here, I think you'll be able to guess which my favorite one is. Da -da -da. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. It's the uh, Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. And I don't know why I got into the habit of buying the tiny ones. Like, I picked them up in the little travel size aisle at Meyer once. And I was like, well, that's where they are. They sell them in small bottles. And like, obviously my thinking brain knew that they made a full size of it, but I've been using this one for like six or seven months and I just now bought the full size. I don't know. Anyway, I love these. Um, I think these are my favorite dry shampoos that I've ever used. I also used the Suave one for a while and I don't have, oh, well I do, but it's, in the bathroom. I'm not gonna go get it. I don't feel like it. Um, that The Suave one smells really strong of citrus. Like, it used to gag Charles out when I used it in the bathroom, and he'd get all passive-aggressive and shut the door and turn the fan on. Like, <clears throat> I was like, okay, it smells for like 45 seconds. Take it easy. But it is a strong smell for a minute. Um, it does dissipate, and that one is intense. That'll soak up any crap in your hair. Um, that's the Suave one. The Not Your Mother's one, though, has a much better smell. To me, it almost smells like, almost kind of tequila-y. I tried to smell it just now, like there's anything in here and like I'm not just gonna smell like the horrible chemicals on my nails from my manicure. Um, but yeah, I think it almost smells kind of tequila -y, which is like in line with my personal brand of dirty and alcohol, so I like it. And it does a really strong job on your hair, I think. So if you're like, Eva, you're a gross expert. What dry shampoo should I use? This is the one I like. And it's not very expensive either. It's not like that fucking dry bar thing that scammed me. So there's the dry shampoos. You put this away. I don't think this one's empty. Oops. Um, so, conversely from dry shampoos, let's talk about damp shampoos. Is that the opposite? Um, this is the shampoo that I use, and it's a fucking enormous ass bottle. And I just finished it. This one I must have had for two years before I finished it. And like I said, I don't wash my hair that much, but my hair is down to my, like, but almost at this point. So when I do wash my hair, I use a lot of shampoo. So I think it evens out. But I, so I still say that this is pretty long lasting. It's 33.8 fluid ounces. I don't know what that means. I don't really have a concept, but. Oh, it's like one of my um, camelbacks. Aha, I do have a frame of reference. Um, so I actually started using this one. It's the Aveda Blue Malva Shampoo, and they have a conditioner too, but for some reason I don't have that one. Um, I started using it when I was blonde again because it's a purple toning shampoo, and it's supposed to take the brassiness out of your blonde. Um, and it does. It did a really good job of maintaining my blonde. And then when I dyed my hair, sorry, my computer's going to sleep. Um, when I dyed my hair purple, I was like, well, purple shampoo and purple hair, that probably works. Uh, and it does. It's great. Um, and I didn't have to buy a big new shampoo when I still had like this much of it left from when I was blonde. So, um, I don't know. It's a good shampoo. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the way it smells. It makes my hair clean, which I guess is a good selling point for a shampoo. Um, and like I said, it's good for blondes especially and also purples, I guess. Um, it's called Blue Malva, but it's definitely comes out purple-ish. It's not blue-blue. That's my opinion. Uh, I don't really have much else. I don't think I use stuff up. Um, and when I do use stuff up, it's like the same crap over and over. So for instance, I have three of these Say Yes to Cucumbers wipes. Um, two regulars and a travel size. Uh, those are my makeup wipes that I use pretty much every night to take my makeup off. And like I said, I'm kind of gross. I don't wash my face as much as I should. Um, 
I wash my face maybe twice a week. It's not good. Um, I just hate, I don't like my face to feel wet. I don't know what it is. It makes me be like, Ugh. So I like makeup wipes. Those ones are really good. They take everything off decently well, including my eyebrows and my waterproof eyeliner, which I think is my water eyeliner now waterproof? I don't know if it is or not, but it used to be. I used to be using the um, Ico one that Alexa Chung did. It's called like, That's Where I Draw the Line or something. I didn't love that eyeliner. Um, I thought I did, and then I got a better one. I got the Kat Von D one, and I like that one better. Um, the Ico one went on kind of splotchy. I don't know, like it was a pen one, right? And those seemed like they should go on really smooth, but that one didn't. And I told myself I liked it, and I was like, oh, Alexa Chung likes it and can do her eye makeup with it. It must be great, but I don't think this, I can't find it anymore either. So I guess it was kind of a blessing in disguise. I couldn't buy it again. I tricked myself into thinking I liked it, so. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the makeup wipes. So those are really good at it, and there's, they are gentle. Like, my face is kind of sensitive. It's not like I really do anything about that anyway, but those wipes have never like felt too harsh or made me break out. Um, God, I said I wasn't going to fiddle with my bangs this whole video, but I guess that was a lie. So I like those wipes. The other ones that I use sometimes are the um, e.l.f. eyes, lips, face ones. Those are in a little black doodle. Um, those ones are good too. I was actually using those more, but I think I like the Say Yes to Cucumbers one's better. Um, I don't remember why that reasoning is. I just know I haven't been buying the um, e.l.f. ones as much anymore. Uh, I threw this in even though I don't know if one use items count as empties. Um, it's the Basha, Basha, Basha uh, Charcoal Pore Minimizing Hydrogel Masks. And it's one of those ones that come in like two pieces and you like slap them on and they like feel like skin and you look like a serial killer. Um, I had the same one of these, okay, the same one of these that comes in a white package but I just threw it in the regular trash. Uh, but I liked these both. Um, the Basha charcoal line is pretty good. I like it. I think Chrissy said the cleanser made her break out though, so she gave me her little trial size one. But I like the cleanser and I liked this mask. Um, made my skin feel nice, so try that. The only, no, I have two actual makeup products. Um, this one is my eyebrow pencil that I always use, the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in. Hope. Um, I really like this. I know some people don't like the Anastasia ones as much because, or the Brow Wiz Anastasia ones because they do run out pretty quickly. And I guess that's true. And I do use them like pretty much every day. Um, I didn't use it today. I actually used, uh, what's the other Anastasia thing? Dip Brow. And I think that's like a bolder look for a bolder look. What an asshole I sounded like just there. Um, but that one, like, it's definitely darker um, and a little more defined, so I don't use it every day because sometimes I feel like it's more eyebrow than I'm going for when I'm trying to just, like, sit outside on the porch with a beer. I don't know. The brow is, I like because it's a little mechanical pencil doodle. Well, duh, it's not gonna twist up because it's an empty dipshit. Um, but I feel like you can get really precise with the mechanical pencil, um, more so than with just the non-mechanical pencil, the pencil. Um, and then it also has a little spoolie dooly at the end. I like that. Um, so I've been through about four of these and I keep buying them, so they must be doing something right. And then my last thing that I have is, it's not technically empty yet and I'm still using it and I'm gonna use it into the fucking ground um but this I use every day it's the uh, MAC Studio Fix Powder so you can see mine is almost empty not quite 
and I'm gonna keep using it until it is dead in the damn ground. But I love this. It's like a powdery foundation sort of deal. I don't know, I'm weird with liquid foundation. I feel like it looks strange on me. Um, but the powder one works well, and I have oily skin, so it's nice. Um, so I usually do this over tinted moisturizer. I really like the Laura Mercier one. Um, and I don't know if that's right, but it works for me. And I think I do it all ass backwards because I do um, tinted moisturizer, then this, the Studio Fix, and then my bronzer, which I use as blush. I'm a, I don't know. I'm all over the place. I'm a mess. But um, this guy I've had for over a year now, and that's probably like longer than I think you're supposed to keep makeup, but... I don't know, none of us are perfect. I I threw away a mascara recently because it was gross and I felt like a damn hero. So let me have my gross powder forever, please. Um, I'm gonna check my bag one more time, but that's all. I just dumped some cat hair into my lap. Um, so that's done. Um, yay, I made my video and now I can throw the trash away and Charles will be happy with me so look at my nails again okay talk to you guys later this video is too long sorry